If you're not getting adequate sleep, deep sleep, and have good oxygen while you're sleeping, you can't have normal levels of testosterone. I had a case where that exactly happened, where a client of mine got diagnosed with low T, went to the, you know, the T clinic, <laughs> and they just gave him testosterone. And yeah, he was feeling better, but then he he reached out to me and he was like, hey, I kind of want to figure this out. And I said, well, in order for us to really figure this out, I would like you to come off testosterone. As soon as we, we measured his oxygen saturation for a week, it was like red flag. If this doesn't improve, then there's no way you're going to have normal testosterone. And he was having fatigue and not recovering from exercise, low libido. He ended up getting the sleep apnea diagnosis. Within a week or two, everything started turning around. He was wow. feeling better in his workouts and it was overlooked. You know, we're so quick to want to grab a supplement or a medication to optimize our T levels. But a lot of the times they're not taking the time to look for root causes as to why their testosterone is low in the first place. From a performance perspective, from a health perspective, function perspective, I mean, nutrition is absolutely important. Hydration is important. Our managing our thoughts, breath and sleep, and especially the quality of the breath as you sleep. Those two things right there can be massive. Huge. You know, I thought I was recovering and then I tape my mouth and nasal breathe throughout the night and then I'm like, holy shit, I feel like I just got a shot of, I don't know, steroids or something like that.